Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of Brain Worms. Today I'm excited for two reasons. The first is my wife made homemade chocolate chip cookies, which are waiting for me <laughs> after I record this. And the second is I am joined here today by my friend and barber, Dave the Barber. Dave the Barber. <laughs> the one and only. He's here for moral and emotional support, uh, as I've watched... So many clips of people being morons throughout my career on YouTube. Uh, I think it's given me AIDS and early onset dementia at this point. So I want to thank you for your service, Dave, for being here as my my support. Let's get it. Yeah. We're going to hop right in. He knows the drill. We got some clips compiled here. We're just going to watch kind of the, the downfall of society as it spirals the drain uh, and, and chat about it. This first one is a bit indicative of the future of our, our younger generations. Let's take a peek here. No. Live streaming. Hell no. She gonna chase him? What the fuck? Put your hand in my food again, and I'm, I'm throwing all of your phone. <laughs> You're not touching our phone. Don't put your don't put your hand in my food again. I like this bro. Do not do that. You don't do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. You're a nobody. It's it's a live stream. You can't stop it. Who the fuck are you? Give me the phone. Now you're not touching my fucking phone. Touch my phone. I'm actually do something. Are you gonna beat me up? Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. I don't know. I don't know. You think I give a fine fuck? You think I give a fine fuck? Do you? Do you? All right, hold up. Do you? Don't do that again. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. They have balls. I mean, not in the right way. But. Yeah, I was gonna say I like I like to, when I say people have balls. I like to have a better connotation than more like just ignorant children without any sort of uh, parental agree. figure in their life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but no, they is, no, no, but they definitely do have parental figures in their life. But you think they they're just, just doormats? Ridiculous. They're, do you think the parents are doormats though? I think if the parents saw that, they'd slap the shit out of those. No, kids. no, no. That's the thing. See, I don't know. I, I have this conversation. I made a comment recently on the last definitely. video I made, and I liked. I like to. It's it's a joke, but I know it's not maybe the nice thing to say. But I say, oh, it's, this kid clearly is like fatherless, right? Like he has no male yeah, figure yeah. in his life giving him morals. But that being said, and I got shit on in the comments because people are like, Leon, I grew up without a dad and I turned out decent. Like I get it. You can grow up into become an amazing person coming from a tough family background. So I was generalizing, but I don't know, man. I look at this and I'm like, you got to, what I call jellyfish, like the jellyfish parents. Cause they clearly don't have a spine. Like if my kid's out walking around doing shit like this, when he's like 13, I've failed miserably. <laughs> I've absolutely failed as a parent. He's a shit bag. <laughs> yeah. He's a so this is like the new meta though of IRL streamers where they just fire up a camera and go around, you know, they're not doing anything. They're not providing any sort of entertainment and do anything except just disrupting yeah. people in public because they know it's going to get a reaction and it's going to get attention and we live in an attention economy where yep. it's yeah it's stupid now this may be beyond your head because i know dave doesn't live you know he's he's doing his own thing he likes to scroll instagram look at tiggle bitties and he cuts hair well i'm like <laughs> deep down the rabbit holes of what's going on you know going on on the internet so that kid i believe is the same dude that was from that neon video that got neon banned from kick where he was like threatening to to sa um a long story that has that's that happened between another irl streamer but clearly there is just this microcosm of young uh Dumb. directionless idiots that are just kind of gravitating towards this style of content and uh personally i think honestly the only way to stop it is to nip it in the bud and throw every one of these kids in a wood chipper i think that woman definitely did a great job though like, oh, i, I love, don't yeah, think you, you got to stand up for yourself they're gonna go tomorrow morning and do that exact same thing no see this is the problem is that woman did exactly what they wanted because she reacted so, yeah, no, and it gave them again. content. Yeah, yeah. And, and here we are. And that incentivizes them it. to go do more. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. the fucking worst. It's the absolute worst cycle of hell. They were shook, though. Like, you could tell they were shook. They couldn't, they didn't want to see that. <sighs> but now they can deal with it and be happy about it. Yeah. I don't know. Wood chipper for all these kids. You, you, if, that's, if your only goal is to, is to fuck with people in public and make content on live stream, just throw them in the wood sorry. chipper. Dave, you mind handling the sponsor segue for me? Yeah, what do we got? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. But no, yeah, we do. We are. Yeah, thank God this video is sponsored. We got to keep the lights on here. So let's talk about that real quick. Like many young adults, I struggled immensely with crippling debt throughout pretty much all of my 20s. I was getting calls from debt collectors about unpaid student loans. High interest credit cards were crushing me and my credit was in the dumps. So when it came time 
To look into engagement rings for my now wife, I knew I had some work to do, which is why I used a debt consolidation service at that time to get things under control, and it was one of the best financial decisions I've ever made. That's why I'm happy to partner with today's video sponsor, PDS Debt. PDS Debt is a one-stop shop to help guide you on your journey to freedom from debt like credit cards, personal loans, collections, or medical bills. If you have over $10,000 in eligible debt, they provide you options that consolidate your debts into one one low monthly payment while potentially saving you thousands on interest and fees that will help you pay your debt down faster. PDS Debt is a top rated company on Google and they're rated A plus by the Better Business Bureau. So if you're in a situation like I was, it's a great time to get their free debt analysis. It only takes 30 seconds, and who knows, this could be the beginning of turning things around. So head over to pdsdebt.com slash Leon to get your free debt assessment today. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate you. All right, let's take a peek. Next one. What is, what is that? I don't even know what's happening. Looks like this kid's caught in the middle of the... Uh... You hear those cars burning out? It sounds like it's one of those, like, car meet? Yeah, the cars. I think of the car meet, right? Where they, like, shut the street down and just do burn out some public roads. That's just me, though. Come on. No, no, no. Fuck that. Let's just take his... Oh, they're gonna do some whips in the Benzino? Okay. He's gotta jump on top of the car and jump in that sunroof. Fuck that. Nah, he just lost his whip though, for sure. I mean, the thing already got smashed to bits. I mean, the whole bridge shut down. I've seen, this has like happened over the last couple of years in rent. There's certain cities that do it a lot, but they'll. They'll plan these meets and they'll just go and shut down these main intersections and do these like little drag shows with by them. just everyone stopping. Yeah, yeah, everyone like they set it up online or whatever, and then just go shut it all down. And I've seen footage of some where like the cops show up and it becomes this huge thing, but other times like there's too de many. De depends on the city. Yeah, sometimes the cops just ignore it because they don't want to. I don't Deal know. It. Yeah, it's like well, depends on the city and maybe some. How the how the it depends on the politics of the city possibly with how how the police presence is at these types of things, but uh, that just looked to me like a little white boy from the suburbs that like decided to cruise downtown to the bridge burnout session with his uh, with his dad's Mercedes and lost it. <laughs> He's in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> wrong place at the wrong time. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna go check this out. Looks like they're having some fun there, and I'm getting jumped. And he's in my car, and he's doing donuts, <laughs> and my dad's gonna kill me. <laughs> so I saw this comment on this one. It said there are many stereotypes about. Americans, but intelligence isn't one of them. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, that actually is correct. That's that's that that stereotypes reserved for the Asians. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on a plane here, which is, I mean, fifty percent chance there's a video inside a plane on my channel. It's brain worms. Talk about it. Really, I'm just trying to make your day today. Stop! Stop! I will walk out on my own. You don't need to. Why are you doing that? Let me do that. Why are you acting like I'm a rascal? Come on, what? Like I'm a rascal? Did you just say why are you acting like I'm a? Why are you acting like I'm a little rascal? Little rascally rabbit. Dude, how can you even get mad at her after that? If she's just be, <laughs> she's just rascaling around a little bit. I understand I'm holding up the flight and I'm kind of out of my gourd drunk or whatever it is, but I'm just being a rascal. She's a rascal. Dude, I, anytime there's a flight clip when I do these videos, it's... I'm oh, God, I, I'm just so glad I, I fly a decent amount. I'm just so glad I've never been on the plane for something never. like this. But no. but I, I, I heard someone talk about it one time, why this happens a lot on planes. And I think it's because people are generally there's a lot of people that are just generally very afraid to fly stressed, stressed out. So they get very stressed. A lot yeah. of them cope with drugs and or booze. 
or both. And when you mix a, like a couple martinis at the airport bar, booze, drugs, stress, yeah, all three people. Yeah, and and then you get crammed into a like a long aluminum tube filled oh. with people that you can't escape. So like and you're trapped. I'm a little bit more sympathetic to it after hearing that because I guess I get that. It still doesn't excuse the behavior. I'm just unless you're a little rascal. <laughs> Why don't you just rascal it around a little bit? Oh, why do you treat me like I'm a rascal? <laughs> Anyways, let's finish this. This poor woman is, oh, God. I let this go. Can I do that with freedom? All I care about is freedom. Can I do that with freedom? You're free to leave the plane right now. He just put in a citizen I arrest. I have fucking been there before. No, no surprise there. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no, I can't imagine. How did you get arrested before? You seem totally normal. <laughs> this nigga's hurting my elbow. He's hurting my wrist. You're hurting me, Sheriff. You're hurting yeah. me, Sheriff. He's not oh, those are actual cops arresting Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those okay. are like air marshals. Did you I think those, those were, were civilians? Other people on the plane you thought they were civilians no so that she'd clearly already been causing an issue to the point where they had, they had to, air, wow i don't know big. if it's air marshals or airport sheriffs whatever it is no, trying to get her off the plane and she wasn't no because aren't air marshals like undercover yeah they yeah so. like on the plane those guys probably just came from the airport uh uh department whatever whatever that is yeah, yeah. and now she's in the screaming like a goat face which is always a good time fucking rascal <laughs> Oh boy. Why are you touching my leg? Why are you touching my leg? Doing the I can't breathe bit. <laughs> this is George Floyd! Is it though? Get off the plane! Get off the fucking plane! I can't breathe! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, please we'll need everyone to. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't breathe! This is so this is this is good. Yeah, I'm glad you're here for this one. This is like our third video because this is legit brain worms. I mean it's legit brain worms slash fucked up mental health problems. Yeah. <laughs> but like fucked up. What do you just get off the plane, dude? Like you don't I don't I, I wanna I wish I I always want more context. Like is yeah. is this like a drug induced bender raid, you know, rager or like is she Sound normally like just it. a decent normal human and she just goes off the deep end after a couple of, you know, dry gin martinis? A lot or of martini. Not a couple. Is this just a situation and I've said this before, but make mental asylums cool again. <laughs> make it, or I I just want to get like the red hat, like but it like says that. make mental asylums great again. I know that that's a fucked up thing to say, obviously. Like, no, but people uh, need it. Like, I mean, there is a lot of people that have, uh, you know, just that are that are mad that uh, traditionally in years past might have had to been treated in some certain way that now we just have to integrate into society, and this is kind of what happens from it. And and we, you know, it's it's good to try and have sympathy and empathy for these people, I suppose. But it's tough out of context, not knowing yeah, not what thing. it is. But yeah, I always try to draw the line between someone that's like clearly mentally with it and just being a dickhead. And I have no right. problem shitting on them yeah, yeah. versus someone like this who it's very clear that like mm, there's probably a little more going on there. And, uh, you know, if you can't. Yeah, she probably just needs a 72 hours in a <laughs> facility to. To she get needs right, to go maybe to, a little hey, bit of lithium. I don't know. She needs to go to the little rascal asylum. <laughs> ASAP. She, she needs to get put in the rascal timeout. <laughs> hey, hey, stop rascaling around. <laughs> you're going to get another timeout. Or you're just going to get arrested and put on a no fly list, which is probably what happened here. Why are they touching my leg? Why can't she breathe? I stopped talking. You do not come up to me, Dr. Shoe. Get in my goddamn face. Oh, boy. You go there. All right. Sit down. You go sit down. Jesus. You go sit down, all right? You, you know Don't come to me like that. Who the fuck do you think you are? Speaking of rascals, <laughs> I mean, did you, he uh, did you used no to talk teacher. to your teachers like this, Dave? This man fears no teachers. <laughs> Clearly, he doesn't fear his father either. Mr. Or, Sue. or it's the opposite, and the dude get. Well, I don't want to say something inappropriate, but yeah, the, oh, God. Yeah, twitch your little fucking face. Turn around and raise your fist like that, Dr. Shu. Do it again! Ah! I'm not fucking playing! Alright? Okay. It sounds like he's forcing it. Like it's like 
just, I don't know. Right, like, it's right. one thing to scream <laughs> out of anger. It's one thing to scream because you're just trying to force being yeah, a tough yeah. guy a little bit. Do that to me! And do that to me! I'll do it to you, bitch! Is he humping? All right! Go sit down. Shut your fucking mouth! <laughs> fucking tell me! Who the fuck do you think you are? He's oh, Dr. Shu, bro. Dr. Sue is not phased, though. In your being a rascal. I don't think did, did, he just try to, did he just try to rip the faucet off? What was this? Bitch. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait, you just dropped, did he drop an N-bomb? Did he drop an N-bomb? Hold on. Hold up, white boy. I think he did. Dr. Sue. fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Tries to rip the handle oh, no. off, blows it. No. Air throws it at him <laughs> and rolls out of there. Dr. Sue just, K I mean, he KO'd himself at the end there. That was embarrassing. Sue wins. <laughs> he did it again. He keeps dropping the FN word. <laughs> Kick the trash can over, then goes to pick it up. Wait, did they, was he about to WWE that trash can at Dr. Sue? What the fuck is going on, oh, dude? Is at the end of the video? Uh... Uh, Eric Johnson, please report to the principal's office. Eric Johnson, if you could please report to the principal's office. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, listen, I, I a lot of people that watch know I was homeschooled for a lot of my life, but I did go to public school a few years. And there's always, you know, every school has some troubled kids that have a little problem with authority. Well, it's like you said, though. Was he, was he forcing it? Or was it? I, I, I don't know what it was. Just... There, there's always a, a handful of students that really lack any sort of emotional regulation, and that could be for a variety of reasons, home life or just some sort of genetic emotional uh, imbalance of some sort. Uh, unfortunately, we live in an age where we just get to see the results of that on the internet from the comfort of our couch. We get to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, God bless him. I do, you know, like a kid like that too, he's young. I hope he grows out of it and can kind of look back on these years in a little bit of shame and embarrassment as he grows into a strong young man or uh, he ends up dead in jail. You know, one of the, one of the two, usually. Dead dead or in jail, I shouldn't say, not dead in jail. Or I oh, guess dead. you could, you oh, could die in jail. jail. Yeah, yeah, you, I guess you could jail. die in jail. Depends on, <laughs> depends on if talking you- talking like that, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if you drop, if you drop, then if you kept dropping those end bombs in jail, <laughs> you might end up dead in jail, bro. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, Eric, please report to the principal's <laughs> office, Eric. We need you down to the principal's office again. This is the seventh time this week. Could the you principal leave the does please not want Eric. <laughs> oh, no, dude. You don't want it. Yeah, they probably just let it go. They're like, fuck, we can't. This dude's, we can't tell go this home. dude. Yeah. Come back next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're suspended again. So your boy, your boy Eric got a new whip. Wow. You're going to die. Oh shit! No, no. He don't cut the new whip anymore. He, he turned it into a sandwich. Sweet, sweet karma. <laughs> Play it again. A sandwich. <laughs> Your boy Eric got a new whip. <laughs> Wait, did the song go say "You gonna die"? Is that what it said? <laughs> so your boy, your boy Eric got a new whip. Oh no! You gonna die? Yeah. Oh, it does. Shit. Everything about that was <laughs> oh, it, it was ironic. It was perfect cosmic karma. It, everything about in it. Seconds. In yeah. Two seconds. Dude's torso actually got ripped clean off. I can't show it, but no, I'm just kidding. I think he's he's probably fine. If it was a new he's whip, dead. And it was five star rated with beautiful airbags. The the fact that the oh. the, the 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 beat he was listening to just came on was like he's like <laughs> you, you go die. die. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. That's just that goes to show. All it takes is one little overconfident, stupid decision to ruin yours, your life, somebody else's life, whatever. I know you're probably a little speedster. You get the, you, you get the in Honda Honda Accord. Yeah, you got the little Honda Accord. You like to toot around in. Toot around like a grandma. You push it up to eighty on the highway. You sick fuck. <laughs> sick. <laughs> you sometimes lay a little patch on the off ramps. Sometimes don't even use the blinker. <laughs> Oh my God! In Massachusetts, don't you dare! Information than that. What is? Is that a bus? I think what I have to deal with at work. Uh, <laughs> but I think you're it's able a, to talk on the phone while you're at work. It's an Amazon so delivery truck. Yeah, because you were recording me. So I'm recording you now. You can report me. What, what are you reporting? That's I'm recording. Great. So I'm trying to get information. And you are not providing it. Oh 
Oh my God. What like, do you- I don't need a lot of context to know that this lady is a miserable old Karen. <laughs> like, <laughs> she, she you bored. Just, you're, she's sitting on the steps of like an open door delivery truck. Uh, maybe we'll find out what's going on. I thought you got through the Amazon out. No. I need to know your name or ID number. I need to know your supervisor. My name is Sharon Smith. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and put that down. Sharon Smith. All right. I can't give you the other information because I don't know the other information. Send this email to my HOA Uh, real quick with your name. But you can go through the Amazon app, file uh, file a complaint, and it'll be like that. That's it. That's not going to work. So... To give you context, I actually read, I was reading through some of the comments earlier. Apparently, the driver of this delivery truck came into this community and briefly parked in resident parking to go drop off a package before leaving instead of parking on the other side of the parking lot in the guest parking and hauling the package all the way across. Now, for me, if you're just there to drop off a package, park in the resident parking. Like Worst case scenario, that resident spot's there and is like, hey, you're in my spot. And you're like, my bad, I'm on my way out. Everyone's happy. This woman with the luscious gray bob in bright red lipstick, head of the HOA, fucking leader of the community Facebook group, plans all the potlucks and the 4th of July parties, clearly, was so taken aback by this woman (laughs) just briefly parking in a resident parking spot that she decided to sit on the steps of her (laughs) truck to try and, I don't know, get all this girl's info to get her fired. I don't even, I don't even know, but... You old bag. <laughs> hey, she's a gilf. No one fucks with her. No one's ever fucked with her in her life. She's yeah. gilf. I'm not going to lie to you. She's kind of bad. She's got the lipstick. She's kind of bad. She's but that Sharon Smith wasn't she's, she's trying to smash. Gilf or not, she's clearly not getting it because she is way she too not. uptight. She's yeah. upset. Yeah, sorry. She's a widower. <laughs> her husband's been <laughs> gone for a long time. And Tinder's just too hard for these old cats to figure out. They don't how know does how this to, work? That's what I'm saying. They, they just figured out Google Mail, bro. They can't be on <laughs> Tinder. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's just too crazy. Okay. You don't recognize who you're speaking with, do you? No. Oh. I really don't. I'm sorry. You don't recognize oh, who you're speaking with, she oh, said? Oh, that's Hillary Clinton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Hey. Oh, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is nowhere near that much of a baddie. Okay. <laughs> I really don't care. I know you don't. What does she mean by that? You clearly don't know who you're speaking to. Like, what are you, the <laughs> senator's fucking white? Like, what? What are you? What are you? Who are you? What authority do you have to keep me hostage? What? I just, you just sometimes I just wish I could it, like. Kinda, they had the VR technology to transport to the end of that video and then just play out the rest live, so I could see yeah. it. Eventually, she must have capitulated, just, right? I think she just went home. The, the, just, yeah, eventually, it's like, I've given you my name, and it's like, uh, she just, yeah. She probably, reached out to Amazon, and Amazon was like, wait. Yeah, we like actually it. don't we, care we at all. <laughs> yeah, at all. No. You go fuck. Oh, my God. There's just, unfortunately, there's people of that age that just don't have a lot of meaning in their life. You know what I'm saying? They've gotten to that age. They don't have a lot of friends or family. They've probably placed their priorities in the wrong places. They're lonely and old. They've lost a lot of friends and family along the way to old age. And they take out that anger and misery on, on other Sharon people. Sharon Smith. On Sharon Smith, the That's Amazon good. driver that parked in the resident <laughs> parking. The audacity. You just got so deeply on. <sighs> can't help myself she, sometimes. He backtracked 15 years <laughs> of her life and <laughs> her ruining relationships with She was a tender 27-year-old with bright red lipstick. Yeah. Sibling she didn't think would give a fuck and now uh, she's upset. Anyways, what a way to end. What a way to, yeah. You think she can get it though? Oh, it's clearly if you're around she can. <laughs> Sick fuck. <laughs> About to call her up. I know you like to play Mr. S- I know you like to play swipey games. Maybe you can teach her how to use Tinder, Dave. Maybe. Yeah, I know you're just learning Gmail, but yeah. Let me teach you. <laughs> I got another one. Yeah, I got a, I got another inbox for you that might blow up if you just uh Okay, let me write your bio for you. Aspiring gilf, angry, passionate. Red, red lipstick, hates Amazon. <laughs> red lipstick, just got my bob done. Yeah. Perpetual resident parking. Loves butt stuff. Enjoy her. <laughs> whoa, 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 dude. You just, you weren't writing her profile. You were writing your ideal profile for the women you're looking for. Hey. Uh, on Tinder. Me and Sharon Smith and grandma. He's single, ladies. Let's go. Isn't it interesting how, as mm. a woman, 
All I have to do is say a couple words, give a few meaningful looks, and I can provide more safety and security, more longing and desire for women than any man can in his entire life. All I have to say is, look at me. Mm Mm-hmm. That's a good girl. (laughs) And I have the girlies panting. (laughs) I should make a master class. (laughs) Down, boy. (laughs) Calm down over there, David. Calm down over there. Didn't know we were going to get into the adult realm tonight. I just, that one was on the list here. That had like dominatrix vibes to it. I'm not sure what the context was that too, but you got a little too excited for my taste. (laughs) Every one of these videos, they start off and I'm like, where are they, where's it going with this? And then... It never goes where I expect it to go. Like, I have the girlies panting. <laughs> like, where the fuck am I watching, dude? <laughs> All I have to do is say, look at me. Look at me. Down, boy. I have the girlies hey. <laughs> panting. Listen, the half chub that grandma gave me is gone now yeah. because of that girl. <laughs> It should be the other way around, but whatever forms your bow, buddy. (laughs) No, because she thinks she's too dominant. You can't think you're that dominant. No, she was a little. She was a little into it. I guess you kind of need that confidence if you're going to be a dom. But cosplay PSA trigger word assault. Honestly, I already kind of don't like someone if they include trigger words in their content. I hate me if you want for that. Do you know what? Are these real people? Do you know what? (laughs) These real people? Is this a video game? (laughs) That's. That's actually such a great comment from someone who's like a little bit more of a normie. Like, watch shit like this. Are these are these real people or are these fake? Are these fake? Are these fake people? These are caught. Do you know what a cosplayer is? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. So a cosplayer is somebody who would like go to a comic con and dress up as you know like a, their favorite comic or dress okay. up as a video game character stuff like that. So here's so apparently let's see what's going on here. In that last clip you just watched, that is me and my friend. All right, so they're outside. Home. He's got a gun out. I don't know why it's so dark. I can barely see it on my screen. It looks like a video game, though, and it says right. cosplay, so. that's Well, that's what, what it is. Happen. Cosplays, like, pretend they're video game characters. Video they were games. filming content, okay. and he has what but, I assume is a fake gun. And some of those real. And somebody looks like a stranger just wow. swatted him and took him down, which watched, is awesome. That is me and my friend at a convention, and we were in cosplays filming a TikTok. We were right across the street from the convention center for Anime Detour when this incident (laughs) unfolded. So for my cosplayers out there, how can you not end up like me? If you're in a group, you want to always make sure that there's somebody watching and there's somebody focused on making sure that no one's going to run up on you. In that situation, I had no idea that that guy was walking up until he was right on top of me. Self-awareness is very key in these situations, especially with a lot of people around. First of all, what do you... Stop giving me an instructional video on how to execute a, a cosplay with a gun without getting tackled. <laughs> like, self-awareness is very key. If you see any uh, good Samaritans around looking to take you down, make sure you stop, drop a roll, and say, this is only a cosplay, sir. I'm an anime dweeb, and we're making a TikTok. I'm not here to shoot up the convention, I promise. What the fuck? He's giving you the instructional. He's trying to save your life. <laughs> Dude, that guy, I love that you- guy. For, like... Hey, you can never be too careful. These days, man, the amount of fucking media we see now, like everyone's got it in their head that everyone's out to just kill everybody. It's no surprise that like you're going to get that. Like at the same time, though, like for someone like me, like I I seen this shit going on for years. So like it's not hard to typically tell when and not to mention you're across the street from like an anime convention. But if you're just a random dude that's in the city that has no idea a what anime is, b what cosplay (laughs) is like my friend Dave over here, that that, yeah, Dave would be the dude with the fucking Terry Tate form tackle (laughs) hugging, kicking the gun away, playing hero only to find out you ruined someone's TikTok. (laughs) You should always have somebody watching and have someone be aware that things like this happen. There are going to be people who don't agree with what we do, and there's going to be people who find us weird. You will have people that want to yep. cause harm to you. Dude, he didn't want to cause harm to you. He thought <laughs> you were a to, fucking school shooter. He's trying to save the planet. That's what I'm saying. Like He wasn't <laughs> mad you were cosplaying. He just saw you running around with a prop gun and thought it was a real yeah, gun. Man. There's a lot of people who might take offense to what we do, and no. especially the props that we have. In that video, we were using a prop pistol that was uh, obviously marked as a prop, but it may still be found offensive, whether that's um, a firearm or a sword or anything like that. 
if you ever find yourself in a situation oh, like yeah. this, dude, uh, I gotta, sh we gotta, I gotta have you over here to do a video of on cosplay conventions. I need cosplay education. Yeah, and I, actually, you're gonna once you see, oh, dude, once you see some of the girls that dress up as these cosplay video game characters, you're gonna be a cosplay fan, <laughs> dude. The, yeah, yeah. I don't even. I won't Let's even go, go to cosplay. I, I will, <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be begging me to go to Comic Con next year, bro. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> If I introduce you to cosplay, <laughs> oh, good Lord, bro. It's going to unlock a side of you you didn't know existed. It's not going to be 85-year-old gilfs anymore. It's going to be cosplay baddies. <laughs> yeah. And those, the, the Comic-Con geeks, too, they're the freakiest ones, from what I understand. From, you know, my friends I know in the industry. I'm an old married dude, so this is all just speculation and hearsay. <laughs> but I'm fucking, I'm just, anyways. Please make sure you call the cops. And if you're injured, <laughs> please make sure you get medical treatment. Everyone... Shut the fuck up, you dweeb. I can't believe he's making a PSA like, please make sure you call the cops. If you're injured, please get a medical treatment. Like, what okay. everyone's safe. Nobody got hurt, uh, but just something to be aware of. And I don't want this to happen to any of you guys out there. Dude, the, you got like slapped in the wrist. Are you going to survive? Are you OK? Do you need trauma counseling? He bro? looks good. He looks, he looks healthy. I know. He survived. Are you hurt? Are you like, what the fuck? Dude acts like he, he just got, right. went through the most traumatic experience of his life. He made a TikTok to warn other people about it and to stay safe and call the cops and the fucking ambulance if someone swats a prop gun out of their hand. I would have one one. I would have literally just laughed and been like, oh, dude, I'm just fucking dressed up as a video game character. Ha ha. I, you know, and I don't. I'm, that, I'm assuming that's the context. Like the dude thought he it was a real gun. Oh, definitely. The idea that the, him out? the idea that this guy was just like fuck this cosplay nerd and just like oh. went and hurt him because he doesn't like people cosplaying. Like, Maybe he's anti cosplay. That's, yeah, and he knew the Comic Con was across hates, the street. Hates hates video games. <laughs> <laughs> video games ruin my son. <laughs> fucking swatting the fucking gun out of his hand. Oh god, this is so good. What a dweeb. I make the girls pant. <laughs> David. The good girl. That's a good and girl. I have the girlies panting. panting. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what that has to do with brain worms, but it's just such a classic. <laughs> I just, dude, I gotta, we gotta, we gotta make merch that just says, I make, I have the girls <laughs> panting. Uh, fucking no one, fucking no dual, funny. dual basement oh. barbers, Leon Lush merch. I have the girls <laughs> panting. <laughs> we have, yeah, the we girls have the girls panting. panting. Oh my god. That's all speculation though, because I'm married. Yeah. Oh yes, me. Thank you. Thank you for the disclaimer for my sake. Yeah. Speculation. Second. There it was panting. It was speculation. <laughs> it was Dave. He was panting. That's gonna do it for this episode of Brainworms. Thank you so much for watching. If you could hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, that would mean the world to me. Thrust it. it. Thrust it. If you're in the area and somehow need that epic fade by Dave the Barber, you know where to go. Uh, link in the description for the IG and thank you so much Dave for being here uh, the moral and emotional support was very very necessary it was so much more fun thank than just you having my brain beat down on my own uh, like I usually do it hey, feels better next time I'm gonna try not to make panting. you but <laughs> try not to make you be panting so yeah, much. well don't bring the 85 year old ghosts around next time if that's the Watch case out. all right we'll see you guys in the next one appreciate you peace peace